A PAINFUL DAY FOR A VICTIM'S FAMILY AS AN EX-CAL FIRE CHIEF GOES ON TRIAL FOR MURDER. MORE THAN A YEAR AFTER THE MURDER AND MANHUNT ATTRACTED NATIONAL ATTENTION, THE TRIAL OF FORMER CAL FIRE CHIEF ORVILLE MO FLEMING STARTED TODAY IN SACRAMENTO. AND FLEMING'S DEFENSE ATTORNEY CONCEDED TODAY THAT HE KILLED HIS PROSTITUTE TURNED GIRLFRIEND BUT SAID IT WASN'T MURDER, AT LEAST NOT IN A LEGAL SENSE. CASE AREA 3'S DAVID BEENICK IS LIVE FOR US RIGHT NOW OUTSIDE COURT WITH HOW FLEMING PLANS TO CLAIM WHAT'S BEEN CALLED A ZOMBIE DEFENSE DAY. David. That's right, Galston. Fleming's attorney said the technical name for it is dissociative amnesia. He said at a critical moment in the killing, Fleming essentially lost control. The mother of victim Sarah Douglas cried in the courthouse hallway today after watching a video in court that showed the crime scene at Douglas's home in Elk Grove, including her daughter's body lying near her bed, stabbed multiple times, and strangled with a bedsheet. In his opening statement, the prosecutor portrayed Douglas as a woman seeking to leave behind her life as a prostitute and defended Mo Fleming as a Cal Fire instructor with a good career, a family, and a midlife crisis. What started out as a business relationship turned into something more, said the prosecutor. They loved each other. The defense attorney, on the other hand, said Douglas was not only a former prostitute, but also a drug and alcohol abuser, quote, prone to volatile and unpredictable mood swings. Fleming's attorney said he remembers going to the kitchen, getting a knife, and stabbing her once, but after that, he felt, quote, like a zombie, and remembers nothing more. Because of that, the defense says Fleming is guilty of manslaughter, but not murder. On the witness stand, Douglas's sister broke down as she remembered getting a call from Douglas in the middle of the night, hearing an argument on the end of the line, and then a scream, and then the phone going dead. The sister said she was worried, but decided not to check on Douglas and said, quote, I live with that every day. A next door neighbor testified how she heard Douglas's cries for help. She said she was about to call 911 when the screaming stopped. Legal expert Daniel Horowitz says the only way Fleming's zombie defense can work is if he takes the stand. Let him explain what happened, but it's got to be real because one little misstep and the prosecutor is going to catch him in it and the whole case falls. And the defense hinted today that Mo Fleming will indeed take the stand to testify in his own defense. The prosecution will wrap up its case tomorrow, so Fleming will get that chance as early as tomorrow afternoon. Live in Sacramento, David Bean and KCRE 3 News. Yes, some gripping testimony today. David, thanks for relaying that to us. Well,